Hi, you are watching or listening to the Shift Training Podcast. Where we talk about personal development, we talk about physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health, and just overall well-being. And today, we're going to do a follow-up to the Where Should We Begin game. So we did this uh, podcast episode a while ago. I don't know. Might have been in the first 10 episodes, I think. And, you know, it seems like there's some good response and some feedback on that. So we're going to do a part two. And the original intent for the first one is simply, you know, if you listen to this podcast, you don't really know us. Uh, we're going to, I guess, be vulnerable and just talk about whatever we want to talk about on camera. Right. And, you know, let you guys chime in and see if anything resonates with you or not. And if you'd ever like to play this game with us, we'll probably do it at some event sometime. So keep mm -hmm. that in mind. You're always welcome to hang and talk about these types of things with us. So, Bond, what do we got? Let's cool. Go Sounds good. So we have two decks in here. One is where we read the sentence and we complete it. And the blue ones are going to be how we want to share. So, for example, share something close to your heart. So depending on what we're going to get from this deck, the white deck, then we're gonna answer it through the blue context. All right, whatever Vaughn says, we're doing it. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> okay. Shall we start? Let's begin. All right, let me shuffle this a little bit before we get started. No, you missed All right, it's choose scary. one card. But I have no idea what's about to happen. Cool, all right. And then I'm gonna choose one blue card. We're gonna start by reading the white card and then I'll read the blue card on how you want, how you're going to answer it. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this one's fun. Um, do I read it now? Yes. Okay, so it says, I hope you never find out about the time. About the time, okay. Dot, dot, so dot. the way you're going to share is you wouldn't tell your coworkers. You wouldn't share, tell your coworkers. Oh, that's interesting. I hope you never find out about the time. See, this is tough. <clears throat> um, in regards to coworkers, I have to really think about this for a second. Mm -hmm. I hope certain coworkers would never find out about a time of what. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I don't have anything that's that good, like <laughs> that's scandalous, you know? Um, mm, I guess in this case, um, I think I would say something like, uh, I would hope that coworker would never find out that I snitched on them. Ooh, you snitcher. <laughs> yeah, I'm a tattletale. I like laws and order. Um, but uh, yeah, I would say hopefully not that. And, and at the same time, there's another part of me that's like, if they find out, then it kind of means, and they you know want to address it, it kind of opens the door for me to talk to them about it. Like, I don't mind talking to them about it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if I know they're not receptive, then I don't want to be the one to talk to them about it. Mm, interesting. So I hope they never find out about a time where I would potentially snitch on them. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. I think what, what, what we should do is we, I think we need to read the blue first and then read the white one. I think uh, that makes sense more. All right. Let's do that. We're all switching right. it up. All right. All right. So do I pick or do you pick? I pick. All right. You pick. I pick one. So he picks a white card. Uh-huh. That's okay. what I read. And then... and then I pick the blue card. All right. <clears throat> Oh, this is great. Oh my God, I already saw it. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Uh, so blue card, the context is forbidden. Forbidden. Share All something right. forbidden. Let's <laughs> see. Let me read the white card. I've always been embarrassed <laughs> about... Oh, Ooh, such a dang. great combo. You got the best combo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> something I'm embarrassed about, huh? Forbidden. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. <laughs> I think one of the most embarrassing moments that I kept to myself is when <laughs> yeah, <be forbidden. laughs> well when I put myself that wasn't forbidden I shared it to the class oh no. <laughs> everyone has those moments <laughs> um Oh man, it's tough. I can't even recall anything that's embarrassing. It's forbidden. I feel like most of my embarrassment, eventually I have to share it because it becomes funny. Ah. You know, in the future. Right. But at the moment, it could be painful, humiliating. 
Like for example, on public speaking, I was so extremely shy. My voice would crack, and my and I, it's as if I'm about to cry every time I would introduce myself. This was during high school too. I was so timid, and the first day of class, we would introduce ourselves. The teacher would be like, "Okay, introduce yourself. Um, which school or how old you are? Where you're from? Blah blah blah." And when it comes when it when it comes to my turn, I had to stand up. In front of everybody, I just blanked out, <laughs> you know. And then everyone was looking at me like, "Is he okay? He's about to cry." <laughs> and I thought that was so funny back then, but that that I kept that forbidden because I was so embarrassed. But now I, now looking at it in hindsight, it's so funny. Right. I, I think I also think in terms of forbidden, one of the things that you said was about、uh, being super timid at that time. Yeah. And for those who don't know Vaughn, if you haven't heard our podcast where we talk about timidity and meekness and and、uh, what do we say modesty,、mm-hmm. um, Vaughn, you know, it, timidity being timid is forbidden now. Oh yeah, yeah. That, for Vaughn, being、exactly、timid is, is forbidden, but、yeah. in the past, that that, that that was the case. You know, I did not know <laughs> one of my,、um, some of my values. Now, timidity is something I want to overcome. But which is is getting better. You know, I think there are certain situations that I just still feel timid, but I'm always aware of those、uh, situations. And you know, just doing it one at a time, not beating myself up if I did not do it, because those things are not going to serve you if you beat yourself up. Just be gentle, be nice to yourself, but don't create the same mistake again. I think it's important to to own it. If you make a mistake, take responsibility, and then do don't do them again. One hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right, <clears throat> next one. Oh wait, you were supposed to draw the one. <laughs> oh my gosh, shuffle it now because I saw it. <laughs> no, no. All right, all right. Cool. All right. Choose one. I'll choose a blue one. All right, we've got. <clears throat> all right, blue contacts share something heavy. Oh, <laughs> I want to know if you guys gonna be able to see that. Will it focus on it? Yes, it focuses on it. Okay, so <clears throat> the taste of power makes me.、Dang. So, what was the context? Heavy,、name? heavy. Something heavy, and the taste of power makes me tyrant. That <laughs> makes me a tyrant. <laughs>、no. Um, this is an interesting one. I have to really think about it. Um, I'd probably say stressed. Stressed. Yeah,、uh, I'd probably say stressed. I feel like <clears throat> that might be a normal. You stress.、Stuff. Good stress. Yeah, I don't know.、Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I would say、uh, yeah. The taste of power uh, uh, makes me feel stressed、um, because I think about、uh, two things, very common things. One is power can corrupt a person. Right can easily corrupt you, and then I also think about the responsibilities that come with being a good leader. So it's kind of like anything that falls short of the absolute virtue of being a good leader will equate to the decay or degradation that leads to the corruption of myself.、Mm-hmm. But that happens with the weight of power. So if power is pressed upon me or given to me,、mm-hmm. responsibility is a little bit different. Power. Power is kind of like whether it's influence or whatever. It means the ability to wield or get something done. Like we're going to execute, we're going to have、yeah. the ability to do. It's going to happen, right? Anything that is power over others, absolute power over myself, I think is fantastic、mm-hmm. because in that case, I'm always going to lean towards the virtues and the values because the, I'm one of my highest values is about the expansion and growth of my being and the degradation or anything that destroys me. I generally, I've demonized. I basically don't like it. I hate it. I hate to be involved with it. I don't want to do it.、Mm-hmm. I want to go this way. But if it comes to the idea of power over others or over situations,、yeah. again, as a human being, historically speaking, just how it goes, absolute power absolutely corrupts. So、mm-hmm. for me, it makes me nervous to think that if I don't adhere, like it's it's peak pressure. It's like do exactly what you're supposed to do, or. Die and fall where many other men have, and be、mm. just like them, and I don't like that idea.、Mm. So I think that the taste of power makes me super、uh, stressed. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a heavy question. <laughs> it is. It, that's how it makes me feel. It's heavy. All right. All right. 
We'll do one more. All right. One more. All right, let's do it. Let's switch change. it up. I'm on the Blue two duty. Swan. All right. Ooh. All right. So this blue one. Yes. Right it says there. gutsy. Gutsy. Yeah, the context of gutsy. Some so, something share something gutsy. Gutsy, yeah. like brave. Okay. Oh, like brave. you got guts. Okay. Mm, okay, I thought that was instinctual. All right, mm. the last time I got unreasonable, unreasonably upset. Mm. The last time I got unreasonably upset. Something gutsy, huh? Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh, let's go. Was it was it the time that the person grabbed your arm when you were about to go dance to try to stop oh, you? That, that's one of them. You know? <laughs> I just couldn't control my emotion because it was an accumulated experience. <laughs> Should have just stood up to myself the very first day, but. I think I would share with, I would share the experience that I had with uh, someone in my family. So this person was someone I, I, I look up to when I was, uh, I was little, right? And I never really feel this connection with him. He, he's, he's, all, he's been always, you know, distant and Every time he would say something to me, I would just follow it, you know, I th I, and and just not say anything. And even if it's wrong, or if it's annoying, or you know, it's not <laughs> the right way of thinking, then I, I just comply, you know. Like mm -hmm. when you're young, you're so malleable, you're you're naive, so you just say whatever it is. But as you get older, you know, you start to realize if you if you educate yourself, you know, expand your knowledge. You start to realize some of the things that you know people say to you are 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 not good for you you know so i i remember that one moment i had to stood up for myself and say one of my my values you know i don't value that this this is what i think and that's that that's my opinion you whether you accept it or not uh, that's on you mm. so i thought that was very gutsy you know because years of not speaking up could be extremely difficult 100 percent. i definitely so. get you uh feeling some resentment and some anger yeah, for sure exactly and you become more understanding as you uh as you experience and uh know more about it mm. yeah. sure sure all right let's do bonus round one more one more Ooh, bonus, bonus round, round. <clears throat> all right your turn all right back mm. ron is choosing one of the blue and I am choosing one of the white for those who only listen right. and do not the watch the context those. is share something you wouldn't tell your mother. Oh, God ooh. dang, my mom should probably listen to the podcast. She's listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, so the white card says, a story I tell about myself that isn't entirely true. So, yeah, a story I tell about myself that isn't entirely true that I wouldn't wouldn't tell my mom. Mm. I need to think about this one for a second. This is interesting. Let's see. About myself that is entirely true that I wouldn't tell my mom. Mm. <clears throat> this is interesting because I'm basically telling my mom right now if she listens to this podcast episode. Mm -hmm. So this is a trap. But let's play this game. We're, we're, not, we're committed to the game. I would say, oh, and this is, this is their super confessions if I do this one. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. No, you gotta do it, man. <laughs> no, do it. Okay. Um, something, all right, let's do it. So, a story I tell about myself that isn't entirely true is that I don't know how to interact with women. What? <laughs> in a romantic capacity. I don't know how to have a, a healthy relationship with women in a healthy capacity. Interesting. But that's not entirely true. Uh, that's based on a few bad relationships or things that didn't work out very well. Mm -hmm. But when I ask for context from other previous relationships, or even when I think about the amount of study time and effort that I put into just how I interact and connect with other people today, especially mm -hmm. women, just even in platonic situations, yeah. um, I, I know and understand a great deal more and have practiced a great deal more and I probably give myself credit for. Um, I think there are moments where I'm still stuck in the feeling that way where I'm like, I can't. So, but really the moment I take the action 
or move against that can't, I disprove it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So in the moment, sometimes my visceral response might be, I don't know what I'm doing or how this goes. And at the same time, the moment I start moving, mm-hmm. it's kind of like I'm in flow state. And then when I'm observing and watching mm-hmm. behavior in general with other people, for those who don't know me, I like to really study human behavior. So I'm, I watch people and I'll be watching what's going on. And, mm-hmm. you know, as some would say, peep in game, you know, scope in situations and understand things like that. Mm-hmm. And I have a pretty good understanding of how those things play out more often than not. So I think that's something I wouldn't say to my mom just because I don't want that to create undue pressure due to, you know, childhood trauma or things like that. But also because, you know, she's always sweating me about grandkids and things like that. Uh, so I wouldn't say, mom, I don't know if I should be like, oh, no, grandbabies. What about more <laughs> babies, grandbabies? So, you know, I think uh, that's probably something I went to my mom, but she's probably going to hear it anyway. So there it is. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> awesome vulnerability right here on the Ship Training like Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I like that answer. <laughs> All right. Well, what do you want to say to your mom? She's listening right now. Love you, mom. Thanks. You're the best. (laughs) Um, Okay. I think that's it. That's it. I think that's it for us. Anything else? Cultural? Uh, Oh, uh, we have the emotional wellness classes. We'll be launching those soon. If you're interested, send us a message, a DM, an email at support at shiftownyourlife.com. And we're glad to send you a link, let you know the details. Mm -hmm. Uh, We'll be dropping some more videos, giving more information about that. But in short, we're going to be holding these first four classes via Zoom. The cost is going to be super low. Um, we're going to you know, charge very little, but we're also going to ask that you give us good feedback. And that way we can help build up the next set of classes to be even better. Um, Vaughn will be dropping a video with more context as to what we'll be covering those first few classes. Mm-hmm. And I think that's it for today's episode. Yeah, that's it. So don't forget to follow us on our socials. Chef on your life and don't forget to subscribe to our podcast and YouTube Chef Training. All right, guys. Thank you. We appreciate you and we hope that you enjoy this episode. Uh, Have a great day. Peace.